اوكي بس الصفحه كان ستارت هو كان ستارت فيرست ام اي ثينك اباوت ستارت اوكي بليز ستارت اوكي سو Sorry, just give me a second. Where is that going to be? Yes, that was for you. Okay. Bronsted, Laurie, and Svante Arrhenius. So, Bronsted, Laurie applies beyond water reactions and defines acid acids as proton donors and bases as proton acceptors. Gilbert and Lewis, Bronsted, Laurie, acid base theory is another way of looking at acids and bases. Instead of focusing on ions like the Arrhenius th theory, Bronsted Lori looks at substances that can donate or accept protons like H plus ions. Bronsted Lori acid is a substance that can donate a proton like H plus ion. Bronsted Lori base says a, a substance that can accept a proton H plus ion. Basically, if a substance can give away a proton, it is an acid. If it can take in a proton, it is a base. This theory is more inclusive than the Arrhenius theory because it works not only in water, but also in other solvents. Now for the Svante Arrhenius. Svante Arrhenius focuses on aqueous solutions and defines acids as releasing H plus ions and bases as releasing OH minus ions in water. Svante Arrhenius was a scientist from Sweden who was born in 1859. Arrhenius had an idea about how things act in water. He said that acids share oxygen, hydrogen ions in water. Alongside bases, bring in hydroxide ions in water. Arrhenius also explained how acids and bases work together to make water when they mix. Arrhenius was a detective figuring out the secrets of how things react to each other. His ideas helped us understand more about acids and bases. Excellent. Oh. Uh, regarding regarding first of all what she was mentioning about the, the definition for for that and enhenius is only in water like the acid it's are uh, produce uh, the hydrogen and the bases produce the the hydroxide and for uh brinster lorry um at any any uh, solvent and it's on the base and acid the base it's uh donate the the hydrogen and the base accepting the hydrogen Uh, Lewis was saying using in uh, organic chemistry wider range of the substance uh, for the acid accepting the alkatron pure and for the base it's donate the pure. Okay, now this is even more photos. So, um, this is um Ar Arrhenius and he has. For acid, H plus and H2O. And for base, he said H, OH minus and H2O. Um, and uh, for Bronsted Lowry on the same picture, H plus donor for acid and for base accepts H plus. For Lewis, he said for acid accepts E minus um, pair. And for base, he said uh, E minus pair donor. Now for Bronsted Lowry acid and ba base, They said uh, a Bronsted Lowry acid uh, donates protons while a Bronsted Lowry base accepts protons. So in this picture, you can see um, acid plus base gives us um, the product of the conjugate base and conjugate acid here. And then you can see the elements below. Okay, and when we move below, we can see a picture of um, Lewis. Um, he said for uh, the acid and base theory, he has Lewis acid. plus Lewis base, and it gives us the product of A minus B, which is coordinate and covalent bond. And uh, on the left-hand side, you can see um, his example of like a Lewis uh, structure. So um, I integrated Lewis's theory as well. Sorry, can you go back? I integrated Lewis's theory as well as we learned some on his theory as well related to acid bases. And uh, Gilbert and Lewis was an American physical chemist known for his Lewis dot structures and contributions to the understanding of chemical bonding and coordination compounds. So that's just a, a little bit of a rundown on Lewis because we didn't include him in the last slide.
And here we have the pH scales. And as we see, it's like the pH scales is uh, from zero to 14. And uh, for the seven is uh, natural. And uh, anything it's uh, less than uh, less than the seven, it's account as base, sorry, account as acid. And anything is greater than seven, it's um, base. And as we know, it's the number of the, the skills. Usually it's range like from zero to 14, but sometime it's a uh, range like uh, outside of the 14 that is possible for ranging is more than 14. And here, like we see that each each number is different color with the, with the picture, it's including with the skills. So um, each, it depends on the strong acid or weak acid and the same with the, uh, with a base, is strong base or uh, strong acid or weak acid. So. Okay, finding acidity, pH and pOH. For acidity, H, H plus concentration. So measure the concentration of hydrogen ions, H plus, in a solution. For pH, pH is a log scale measure of acidity, and it's calculated using pH, which equals negative log H plus. For pOH, pOH is the negative log of hydroxide ion concentration, OH minus, and cal it's calculated using pOH, which equals negative log OH minus. So the relationship here, uh, in a neutral solution, pH plus pOH equals 14, and lower pH indicates higher acidity and higher pOH indicates higher basidity. And you can see the pictures along the side here on the right hand side explaining that. Um, so here we have the picture for describing the, the strong and weak uh, acid. And it's here like we have the concentration, uh, how much uh, acid there is in the, the curtain volume and more concentration, uh, situation like more acid per unit. And here, as in the middle of the picture, we can see it, it's a high and low. When it's uh, high uh, hydrochloride, it's uh, it's account as a high, and when it's going to be less, it's, it's, it's low, it's weaker. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's the con it's uh, the difference between concentration and uh, con concentrate and concentrate. Okay, so. what are acids? An acid is a substance that donates H plus ions in any solvent as per bronsted lowry It produces H plus ions only in water as per Arrhenius. It accepts E minus pair as per Lewis. And acids also usually taste sour, do not feel slippery. They have a pH less than seven. They release hydrogen, which is H plus ions in an aqueous solution, corrode metals, react with metals to produce a compound in hydrogen gas, and it turns litmus um, to red and pink. Uh, we have a strong acid and weak acid uh, for both of them, like the, the there's a different, uh, the strong acid is uh, when it's breaking down completely in uh, solution and give uh, many hydrogen ions. The weak acid is the opposite with the, the strong acid is give less, sorry, it's not the opposite, but it's giving less than hydrogen uh, than the comparing with the, with the strong acid. As we can see is here on the picture, it's uh, with the strong acid uh, is producing a lot of hydrogen uh, and with the weak acid is not that much producing, like uh, giving not that much uh, hydrogen for that reaction. Okay, here are some basic uses of acids. For the first image on the left, it says for acids, there's a hydrochloric acid and the uses for it is used in to remove rust from metals. There's sulfuric acid, Uses is used in automobile batteries, fertilizers, paints, plastics, and dyes. There's nitric acid, and the uses is used in fertilizers, plastics, photog photographic films, explosive, and dyes. And last, 
acetic acid, the uses is used in food supplements as a raw material and used as a solvent. On the right hand side, we see um, the visual uses of the acid. So here you have carbonic acid, sulfuric acid, tartaric acid, nitric acid, hydrochloric acid, salicylic acid, acetic acid, citric acid, and acid used in labs. And uh, below each of them is uh, actual real life um, examples that we use sometimes. So here we have the character of the, the acid and uh, sorry the character of lemon and acid rain. Uh, the acid in food uh, it's usually test uh, test sour and produce uh, like the producer of it's cause causing a burning for the skin and it's uh, hurting the, the 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 human skin. Uh, since testing uh, is so dangerous for checking like the unknown chemical like, like unknown. Uh, trying to like uh, testing with different technician for the uh, for checking if it's acid or base there is a method needed to to tell like whether it's a solution is an acid or base by the pH using the ind indicator acid rain is an an uh, fall with a pH of uh, less than five six it is uh, caused by pollution react with the water. Acid rain is uh, harmful to the inhaling, especially to uh to the to, to the already suck. As we can see is here like the the a picture on the first right hand um uh, the lemon. It's uh as we know everyone is testing really sour and the other one is the acid rain it's when it's it's causing the the pollution to the the environment and how it's starting from the factory and like going to the the cloud and start raining, causing the the pollution. Okay, here we have the indicator. So branching off of the characteristics of a lemon and acid rain and BPH scale slides. So the definition of indicator: it's a substance changing color in the presence of an acid or base. Two examples of litmus paper and phenol, phytholine, they help us quickly see if something is acidic or basic by showing different colors, as you can see on the right hand side. And below, you can see um, a chemical. The character of the acid and react with the carbonate and react with the metals. Uh, the the acid is react with most of the metals, um, and the safe way to test the to uh, a safe way to test to see if it's a solution is an acid to place a few drop on the compound that contains with the car uh, carbonate. And as we can see, it is on the right side of the picture. It's like starting with reacting with a different type of metal and how it's starting to react, reacting with the, with the different type of metals and how it's become after 30 minutes. As it react with, uh, with most of the metals and the react produce hydrogen gas, uh, which you can uh, see it, it's uh, bubbling uh, underwater. And here with the second, like the middle one, we see a lot of bubble bubbling. Okay, what is a base? A base is a substance that accepts H plus ion, ions in any solvent as per Bronsted Lowry. It produces OH minus ions only in water as per Arrhenius. It donates an E minus pair as per Lewis. So acids usually taste bitter, feel slippery, they have a pH uh, higher than seven. They release hydroxide, which is OH minus ions in aqueous solution. They do not corrode metals, do not react with metals to produce a compound and hydrogen gas, and it turns litmus blue. Character of the base that placing beer. Um, is the first thing I would say is uh, the most common example for it is the uh, baking soda and uh, the mildness in food is this really bitter and feel slippery. 
Some strong base can burn the skin as uh, bubbly as strong acid. It's the uh, same with the acid and the base, the strong one is burning the, the skin. Characteristics of bases that feel slippery. When a base touches the skin, combination of the base with the skin fatty acids makes a small amount of soap because of their reaction with acid molecules in the skin called fatty acid. For example, soap is a made base of sodium hydroxide, which is an AOH, with fatty acid produces soap. Um, and physical uh, characterism of the base, um, it's here like the, uh, the definition of uh, what we're trying to say. The, ba the base usually have like bitter taste, uh, the, the, the medium one and the strong one, it could be burning the, the skin. Uh, the toxin feels slippery and the base continue uh, contain hydroxide ion, which is OH minus negative. Alkaline. Alkaline substances have a pH more than seven, showing that they are basic. This is crucial knowledge for different jobs, including farming, where the pH of the soil affects how well plants grow and get nutrients. Okay. Cleaning product, which it could be a sodium hydroxide. This is a strong cleaning product, sodium hydroxide, that helps clean things well. Others also call it caustic soda or lye. Potassium hydroxide, similar to the cleaning product, there is another called potassium hydroxide. It is strong too and used in cleaning and making food. Ammonia, you might have smelled ammonia before. It has a, it has a pungent smell. People use it for cleaning, mainly in refrigerators. Stomach medicine, which could be magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide helps your stomach when it has excess acid, which is caused by eating too much spicy food or drinking too much coffee, among others. People take magnesium hydroxide when they have a stomach ache. Calcium hydroxide. Slaked lime or calcium hydroxide is used in producing cement and also in farming to give water treatment to soil. Aluminum hydroxide. Aluminum hydroxide that you can take to relieve symptoms of heartburn and indigestion. Baking soda. Baking soda can act as both a base and acid, and it's used for baking and cleaning around the house. Lastly, soap is made using sodium hydroxide with fats and oils. Soap molecules have both hydrophilic, which is water reacting, and hydrophobic, water repelling ends, allowing them to remove grease and dirt. Nationalization reacting. Uh, definition of the nationalization chemical react between an acid and base uh, for mining water and a salt. It is it um it, it is when like uh, post balance each of uh other out. This is a important example like making a medicine, cooking and uh, taking care of the universe environment. And as we can see is here the, the example of the hydrochloride and uh, nitrogen or hydroxide and uh, is giving us the, the sodium chloride and water. And we can see it here like uh, the acid plus base uh, on the top, the picture acid plus base is giving us uh, water and salt. Uranium ion, which is H3O+. Definition. Ion formed when a water molecule accepts a proton, which could be H+. The hydronium ion is formed when a water molecule accepts a proton, H+. It plays an important role in defining the acidity of a solution and is often used to represent the concentration of hyd hydrogen ions in aqueous solutions. And you can see it, the image below. Uh, narrating that. And at the top right, you can see um, uh, a chemical. Hydroxide ion. Definition of uh, ion format when is water molecule donate a part of hydrogen. Uh, hydroxide ion are likely 
lighter uh, help in water. Uh, imagine water as a team and hydroxides ion are part of the team. They are a special group that can take away a tiny piece from other molecule. Uh, hydroxide ion are, are like the helpful friend that can change things in a bit in water. And as we can see the picture on the bottom of the screen, uh, the water mo molecule is uh, is touched to the, the hydroxide and starting to help them like as a team and sharing to producing with the, with the second part. Conjugate acid and base pairs. Definition, two species related to by the transfer of a proton. Example, HCl plus H2O makes Cl minus plus H3O plus. So the HCl here is the acid and the H2O is its conjugate base. And you can see down below the conjugate acid base pair. It shows the weak acid, the weak base, making a strong acid and a strong base. And uh, on the right-hand side, you can see um, an acid. You can remove the H plus and the conjugate base can return the H plus. And there are um, element examples down below. The situation, the definition, uh, the definition li li uh, liberty technician uh, determined that the concentration of the acid or base by reacting it with the solution of knowing uh, contraction. And uh, titration is a laboratory te uh, technique technique used uh, to determine the con concentration of the an acid or base in solution by react, react it with the solution of uh, no, known uh, concentration. It is, uh, it is a prices method uh, widely used in analyzing the chemical. Example of that, uh, the sensors make a little bit of, of, of what they want to measure with another liquid. They, they know well, dropping by drop by drop until there is a noticeable change. This has helped them to figure, figure out the, the exchange amount of the substance they are testing. So it's kind of like a dropping drop and after one till like the colors change or they find the notice as we can see is here on the right right hand side of the, the on the picture is starting changing and after drop after drop it's changing the liquid and thank you so much for listening for the presentation and if you have any questions just feel free to ask okay good students uh, who have uh, a question? Yusuf, do you have any question for them? No, Miss I don't. Okay, just um, it's missing a small part, a pH, because I didn't explain it yet. Next time, uh, I will explain it, maybe today, if we find time. Yeah. It was good presentation, to be honest. Uh, cover uh, uh, all the subjects related to grade 11. But the, some of the pictures wasn't clear. Okay, just you have to be careful about this. Some pictures you need them because you are explaining why you're focusing about them and they are in the black. Using the pictures, I like this using the pictures because it will make the lesson more clear. Uh, you did uh, everything in a correct and good way. Uh, I sometimes it's good to use uh, tables, but uh, this is wasn't in the rubric, so I cannot include it in the mark. Uh, uh, as overall, uh, you did uh, good, and what I like it that you already uh, participated in the in the preparing. I don't know if just dividing the uh, pages it's only or you really worked in them. Did you work on them? Yes, yes. Both of you. So not one prepared and the other come only to present. No. Okay, okay that's good. Uh, welcome, Ahmed. Hello, Ahmed. Ahmed. Okay, hi. 
Okay, I don't know who are you. You send a message to the WhatsApp. It's look like. Ahmad, are you there? Yeah. Do you know about the definitions of acid and base with respect to Arrhenius and the Brunested and Lewis? Oh. Okay. We will see what we'll do regarding this. Okay, so, and we get the examples of how to determine the conjugate acid and conjugate base. I gave you a worksheet and I said to practice it. Any one of you practice it? Yes. Abbas, did I you see? Did, did yeah, or? Did, did, okay. If I have F, uh, F minus plus water, it will give me, Ahmed, try to focus with me a little bit. A conjugate acid and conjugate base is just only with respect to the second uh, scientist. It's not Arrhenius, it's the second scientist, which is Brunusted. Brunusted Lare. Okay? And the abbreviation is like this, Brunusted Lare. Okay? What they said, they said the one that accept if we release hydrogen, donate hydrogen, this is mean the acid. The acid donate will give hydrogen. And he said that the hydrogen will be accepted with the base. Okay, so donor, donate, acid will donate, will, it's not writing at all. It's, it's some days it's not right at all. The band will donate. Base will accept. If you didn't understand, let me know. Okay, so here we have donation of the acid and accepting of the acid. We know if one somebody donates something, so there should be someone accepted. If there is no accepting for this donation, this donation will not happen. Do you understand? If you are going to the mosque and you and you want to donate five dollar, okay, or the uh, or the church or anywhere or even in the street, you find somebody, or you want just to donate $5. If you didn't find somebody, accept it. Okay? A charity, accept it. Can you say about yourself a donor? Ahmed, this is a question for you. Can you say that you are a donor? Yeah. How? Because uh, if it did not accept it and I give it to the charity, I donate money to them too. If you donate. Well, I did not understand this question. Can you repeat again? Yeah, I ask you. If you are planning to donate $5. Yeah. But you still didn't find anyone to accept it, to take it from you. Can yeah. we say about you a donor? No. No. So to be a donor, you we need somebody to accept your donation. Yes. Okay, here the same. Acid is the donor. Acid is the donor. But if, and base will be the acceptor. When base accept this donation, we can say about the acid donor. Okay. Okay, so yeah. in regarding this, who look at them, these two product, two reactants, which one can donate? Which one of them can donate? Uh, the first one. Huh? And uh, the H and H and plus top with a circle. The water. Yeah. And this in this reactant, the yeah. water. The water is the one who can donate because yeah. she can give H plus. Yeah. Okay, so it will be when we take from it H plus, it will be O H. This is the remaining. 
And we will write minus because this is the remain. She lost. Okay. So this is what happened for her. Lost minus at she plus. So it donate. It donate at she plus. Because yeah. she has some money of in her hand and she gave from them. So now she's have less. But remember, donation cannot take place two H together or three H together. It's one H, one H, one H. So at this time, it's donate only by one H. We said about it asset. Yeah. The definition said the donor is an asset. The donor is an asset. The one who donates is an asset. The best will not donate. Okay? And this one will accept accept the donation, will accept. If he are lost, this is will gain. Okay. So Sorry, we'll where are you reading? I, I am writing on page number two. Sorry, I didn't say. No, it's my fault. I just upgraded my computer. Who see my screen? Are you Ahmed, where you are now? I am at uh, you bought a line in H, uh, H plus. Can you write? I can't see nothing right now. Can you write something? I see Yusuf only. I see Safa. I don't see even Abbas. Abbas. Just a I see you. Yes, I'm in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you, mashallah. I love when you are say, uh, as the butterfly, uh, just jumping from one place to another. Ahmed, I don't see you. Ahmed, do you know how to use the whiteboard? No, because is he on Google Classroom? Because, you know, I'm not even in the Google Classroom yet. Are you, we are in the Zoom, not in the Google Classroom. Oh, yeah, I can see. You see a white page? Yeah, with okay. red. Okay, I will go to page number one. Okay, let me see. Do you see this page? Do you see my arrow that I wrote? Yeah. Do you see the number below it, number one? Yeah, I see number one. Yeah, press on it. Did you press on it? Ahmad, did you press on the number one? Yeah, I'm pressing, but it's not letting me. No, just press on it slightly. It will give you a pages at the top above it pages. Page one and page two. So press on page two and go. Okay. You. Let me see. Are you there in page two? Please open the WhatsApp, Ahmed. Hello? Oh my God. Ahmed? Okay, open the WhatsApp. I sent for you picture. I sent it to all. I didn't know. For so this one, I don't see it. You didn't see, I told you, I asked you press on the number one. I can't press on nothing. Do you see the number one here? No. No? Okay, guys, anyone can help? He told me when you want to talk, stop recording. He doesn't want to this mess in him. Okay. Stop. And now F, it will work as the base. So base will gain 
the lost H plus or the donated H plus and it will be H plus. Okay, why I didn't write here plus? Why there is no plus here, Yusuf? Yusuf, why I didn't write at the top of plus? Oh, because um, it was uh, removed. Because I have negative. Yeah. I and added and I added the plus. And what happened? It got cancelled. They cancelled each other's. Because of this, I don't have it now. Okay. I have to write it. But you, there is already minus, so cancelled each other's, and now it's a neutral. Okay? Yeah. So, and then I have to write, this is negative, so I know the base is always negative. So this is conjugate. What will be what? Conjugate base. Okay? And this is what will be what? Conjugate acid. This is means that she is the one that who accepted the H plus from the asset. And this is it, the one who donate the H plus for the base. Okay. Now I will go to explain the other stuff regarding the pH. Uh, I will go to page number one. I will try every time to erase and uh, uh, write there because Ahmed is the only page that he can see. Sorry, because of this, I uh, we have just to work in that page only. Okay, now what I have to do? I have to explain how to test, how to test the acidity and the base. If I have acid solution or I have basic solution, how I can test it? If I have acid solution, and this is the only the, the best one that we can use it here this is my solution one of them is acid one of them is base but i don't know i have solution a and i have solution b ahmed now you see yeah ahmed hello ahmed uh we did this is before we could oh yeah okay ahmed we are uh just typing on uh, page number one. Do you see the lesson? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, that's good. So I have two solution now, solution A and solution B. I okay. want to, know, uh, to identify which solution is acid, which one is basic. How I will know? I need to test it. Okay, so there are, there are solutions how to test it. How to test acid and base. There are BH scale, BH meter. Wait, can you read it again? I did not hear you. How to test acid and bases. How to know that my solution is acid or bases? By oh. BH scale, by BH meter, by BH scale, Is it by uh, pH me uh, meters? Yeah, pH meter. It's uh, just a meter. I will bring it like this. And okay. it has here numbers. Okay, just I will dip it. And it will give me a number. Okay. pH scale. Uh, Safhad Abbas show us one of them. It was with them like this. And it has many different colors yellow to the green and so it's depend on the color it appear here when we just dip a paper of this scale okay so we can find which color it give me i can exactly know what even the bh value bh is to know the value bh meter is the most one uh, specific or accurate BH scale, it helps us to know is it a strong acid, a strong base, uh, and even if a neutral. Uh, phenolphthalein and methyl or, 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 or orange, 
Quinol filtering is a solution. We can use solutions. Solution as quinol filtering. And this is one. Then we have also methyl orange. Safa, did I explain it in this lesson? The pH? Yeah, these all here in grade. Uh, I think a little bit. I've had the feeling that I did it. You yeah, said. You showed us a video. <clears throat> Yusuf, did I explain this? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly. Phenolphthalein, it has a colorless solution. If I will put a one drop here, the color will appear stay colorless. If the color stay colorless, this is mean this is acid. If the color changed to pink, this is mean my solution is basic. Did you understand? So just I will put one drop of the phylon philatelium. If it's the color stay colorless, because it has a colorless solution. If the color stay colorless, this is mean it's acid. If the color change to phenol to pink or red or orange, this is mean my solution is acidic. Okay. Metal orange. Metal orange, it has a yellow color. If it's a stay yellow, it will be acid. If it change to red, it will mean it's base. The third, the fourth one is the easiest one, which is litmus paper. Litmus paper, I have only two types of litmus paper. Solutions, we have many solutions, but the most famous are phenolphthalein and metal orange. Litmus paper, we have only two papers. We have red paper, and I have pink, uh, blue paper. If I put any one of them, the red or the blue, in this solution, and it's a start stayed, Bank or turned the blue into bank, this is mean acid. If I put it here, if I dipped here, and it gave me a blue color, it means this is my solution is best. If I put it here, and it gave me pink color. Even if it was blue at first, it will be, this is mean it's acid. Is it clear or not? So we have four ways to test the acidity if my solution is acid or base. The pH meter, which is the most accurate one, it will give me exactly the number. BH scale, which give me if it's strong acid or strong base and the value, approximately the value without one, will give me seven, five, three, as demand, but I will know if it's acid or base. And even I can uh, identify if it's strong acid or strong base or weak or whatever. Solutions. Phenolphthalein has a color, it's a colorless solution. If I added drops of it to the beaker and it turns into pink, this is mean my solution is uh, basic. If it stayed colorless, this is mean my solution is acidic. The last one, which is the litmus papers. I have two types of these litmus papers, the pink, or the red litmus paper and the blue litmus paper. If I insert the 
one of them in any of these solutions and it stayed pink or it was blue and turned into pink, this is mean my solution is acidic. If it stayed blue or the pink turned into blue, this is mean my solution is base. Is it clear? And another, the last thing regarding the pH scale, I said I cannot move, it will be hard, but yalla. I have the scale. From one to 14, seven is the neutral. This is the BH numbers, the values. Okay, so if I am here, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is mean I am in the asset area. From one to six, from one to six point nine, it's mean acidic. Seven, it's mean my solution is in neutral. From seven, Point one, not seven, from seven point one to fourteen, it's base. Okay. Do you understand anything? So if I dip this meter and give me here a reading which is seven point eight. Is my solution acid or base? Yeah, Abbas. Is my acid solution acid or base? If it's sorry, Miss, I I didn't hear the last. If it's what? If it's less. If if I have the reading, I used the BH meter and the reading gave me 7.8. Okay. It's going to be base. Yeah, miss. Weak or strong? It's going to be weak base. Uh, base. Weak? Okay. How to know if it's yeah. strong? What criteria? What if is it's going more, if it's going to go more like uh, going uh, more than seven, starting going for 14 or down there. Malik, Malik. Close the door, please, Mama. Okay, so uh, Ahmed. Okay, Ahmed. Yeah. I have three solutions. All of them are in the acidic state, okay? One has BH equal to, one has BH4, and the third has BH6, okay? I has two and four and six. This is their BH. Which one is the strongest acid? Is it uh, seven? I did, even didn't give the value of seven. I gave you these values. Oh, oh. And four and six. Which one has the strongest reading? Oh, it's six. Okay. But when we are moving like this, we are moving towards the neutral. And even we are moving more towards the base. Yeah. Y Yusuf, are you ready to answer? Yes, miss. Where is the question? The question that I said it for Ahmed. Like which one is uh, 7, 6.9? No, I didn't ask him this. I told him we have three solutions. One has two BH, one has BH4, one has BH6. Which one is the strongest asset? Um, probably it's two because it's the lowest one. Yeah. Ahmad, 
as the we have BH plus, this is mean it's more strong. Yeah. So if the BH is one, it means this is the strongest. We have okay. three, it's more it's strong. As we are coming near the neutral, this is mean it's weak. Okay. Okay. If we have it six, it's uh, it's more nearer to be neutral. Okay. <laughs> Same questions. What if we have pH equal eight and another pH equal thirteen? What is the type of this solution? Acid or base, Ahmed? Is it acid? When we have it, oh, base, base, and base. Base. Which one is the strong? Which one is weak? Uh, the the strong one is the uh, base, and the and the weak one is the acid. Ahmed, I told you we have only two solutions. One has BH equal eight, and one has BH equal thirteen. Uh -huh. Yes. Just an answer. Yeah. So 13 is going to be uh, the base. Like they're, uh, the two of them are base, but 13 is going to be strongest. Thank you, Yusuf. You are with me at this time. OK. Ahmed, both of them base, both of them base, because they are here under, after, they are in this area. OK. okay. So 8 is a base, and 13 is a base. But one of them is strong and the other is weak. The one with BH equal eight is weak, is weak because it's nearer to the to be neutral. While thirteen is strong base because it's at the top has a maximum value. Okay, did you understand? Yeah, I understand it now. Okay. Now the, our, our second question is how to find this BH? How to find the BH? Every time I want to open a new page, I remember that. Muhammad cannot. How to find the BH? I, I promised somebody to send, uh, to find a, a YouTube, how to use the, uh, uh, the Zoom. I, I should, how to use the whiteboard in Zoom. I should find one and share with Ahmad. And I don't remember exactly who is the second. Maybe Muhammad in grade 12. I forget, I forget. Because to be honest, I am not a technician. I cannot help. And some things I don't know how to make it. I, when I need help, I ask my kids. So it's not easy for me to help others. Okay, now how to find the BH by calculation. Okay, we know how to find the BH by the BH meter, by the BH scale, by the litmus paper to identify if it's acid or base, but how to find it by calculation? By how to find BH by calculation. MashaAllah, beautiful handwriting. This is even new, not A. By calculating it, I don't know how to write it, to be honest. As much as I, I, I clean it, I, don't, I stopped know how to continue it. Okay, so BH, according to the definitions, BH equal minus log. Oh, and, if, and who is playing with me? Because I cannot type. Uh, just a question, grade 11. Do you know about this minus log H plus? Did you ever use it? In math, did you use minus log H plus? Yes. 
grid 11. Yusuf, do you know how to use minus log h plus? Uh, no, I didn't use it. Ahmad. Yeah. Do you know how to use minus log h plus? No. Okay. It's just very simple. I will share with you a video. It's very, very easy. It's just go use your uh, calculator. No one of us know how to use it perfectly without the calculator. Just you have to press, press minus log and put the value. Okay. Okay. So I, I will remember to share it with you. It's just a small press. And you have, and I have to, I, I, what is the meaning of this, Yusuf? Which one? This. The line? Yeah, these two line brackets. Oh yeah, they're the brackets. Yeah, but in chemistry, not in art. Um, it's for like, specifying like, um, the, this, like for example, the H and the sign. But this is mean concentration. It's symbol here for us a concentration. When I see them, any value, for example, when I write for you H plus, this is mean I am saying concentration of hydrogen. You read it this way. Yeah, okay. that's what I meant to say. Okay. Concentration of H plus. Ahmed, you have to memorize this. For example, if I wrote it for you, this calcium chloride. Okay. What read this, Ahmed? Uh, Ahmed, read for me this. Where is it? I can't see it like that good. Well, don't say it. I don't see Ahmed. We stayed in page number one because of you. Look I see. Well, what do you want me to read? Read this, 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 the last one. Are you with us or not? It says C A C L T. Yeah, but I said in chemistry how to read it. I put it inside the brackets. How to read it? We read it concentration of calcium chloride. Yeah. Do you know what we mean by concentration? Yeah. How to find the concentration? How to find the concentration? Oh, uh, is it like uh, on the periodic table? You can find it. On no, the no. Concentration equal number of moles over volume. Yeah. Concentration is also the molarity. Even we say it for it molarity equal number of moles over volume. And the unit of it mole per liter. Because it's number of mole, which mean mole, and volume, which mean liter. Okay, to find this concentration, we say we have we need number of moles and volume. And then we when we find it, we can substitute it, it here and find it. Okay, I will give a small example. We will start by example and then we will continue next time. If if I have let me but please focus with me. Are you writing notes? Because when you leave, you forget everything. Oh, do you want me to write notes? Can you remember everything without writing a note? Yeah, I can remember. How long? I can write notes if you want. Not I want. I will not check it. I cannot check it for you. Okay, I will write notes. Yeah, because you have to, to, to review. When you have a test or you have whatever, or you have any, for example, uh, homework or something, how you will know? Okay, I will write notes. Okay, others. Safa, Abbas, Yusuf, are you writing notes from time to another or not? Of course, monsieur. If you didn't write notes, you you cannot understand. No one can, can remember. Okay. Look here, I given, this is the given will be. We have two moles of 
of calcium. I don't need calcium, sodium, it's easier. Sodium, no, HCL, because grade 11 are not responsible about the OH. It's enough for them, just the acids. Two moles of HCL, which is hydrochloric acid. This is C. We have two moles of HCL dissolves in in 10 milliliter and 10 liter of water. Let's say of water, it's okay. It dissolves in water. I don't want them to feel confused. First, in 10 milliliter, they don't need to know where and what. In 10 milliliter, find A, concentration of HCl. of HCl. B, concentration of H plus. C, BH value. Is it easy or difficult? Somebody help me how to find the first one, concentration. I need I need first to know what is the equation. OK. Look here, how to find the concentration? Concentration equal number of moles over volume. Do I have a number of moles for SCL? Yes. How much is it, Yusuf? Sure, Miss. Um... You, you want to find uh, the formula? I have the formula. It's concentration. Yeah, like the number, like for uh, H and V? This is not H, Yusuf. This is N. Oh, OK. Are you playing games, Yusuf? No, miss, no. Wallahi, I start to doubt about you. I, I have to ask your mom to keep watching you. Because every time I ask you a question, say, can you repeat? Oh, can you repeat it? I didn't hear. Always you didn't hear me. No, miss, I hear you, but I, I want to make sure like I'm answering the right question. Okay, because you are one of the best students at my class. Thank you, miss. Yeah, and every time you are asking me, uh, what did you say? So this is me, you are not with me. This is what I understand. No, I'm with you, miss. Okay, you. and over V, what is the number of moles? This one is two. Yeah, if you are it's not with moles. me, very hard because of my uh, my bad handwriting. If you're not focusing with me, you cannot understand what I'm writing. Do you know, I don't know what is this letter. It's not Yeah, easy sometimes to I also get confused. Yeah, it's fine. Because when I write, I, I talk. So I expect my students are following me. Okay, find concentration of SCL. So we are in part A. Two over how much? 10, the volume. It's normal. And be careful. Number of moles is in the moles and volume in the liter. If I have it in the milliliter, I have to convert to liter before I continue. It's okay. Equal, how much? Two over 10? It would be 0 0.2 and then capital M. Very good. Capital M. Do you know why it's capital M, Yusuf? 
Okay. No, Abbas. I'm not sure. I'm not Abbas. sure. What is the meaning of capital M? Abbas, what is the meaning I'm of not capital M? Not sure. Where the capital? I think it's uh, because it's the moles. It's mole per liter. It's another way to write to write it. They said mole per liter or um. It's the same. Okay? Please write a note for yourself. Even Ahmed. Ahmed, you have to write notes. One day I will ask you a picture of a certain page. I'm writing notes. You know what I will do? I will give extra uh, marks for those students who send picture for, for example, I say, do you remember this lesson? We explained like this, please send for me now a picture of it. So I will know that this students wrote everything. I have to say this is from the first day. So I will give mark on it so students will really write notes. Okay, mole per liter is mean molarity, okay? So I found it. This is the concentration of HCl. If I find the concentration of HCl, why he is right asking me concentration of H plus? Because H plus is different from H. But here it's the same because we have same ratio. But if it's a sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid, it will be completely different. It will be, we have to multiply by three. But here, it's the same. Okay, so now we have to write HCl. This is part B. HCl equal H plus Cl minus. Okay, is it balanced? Ahmed, are you good in balance? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Oh. Okay. So, this is, it's balanced because I have one atom of H, I have one atom of Cl. It's balanced. So, if I have here zero on the ratio is one to one, one to one, so it's okay. Still have concentration of H plus. Do you see the one that I said, read it? Concentration of H plus, it's equal concentration of HCl equal 0 0.2 molarity. This is mean the concentration of H plus equal 0 0.2. Look here, I can write concentration of H plus. I can write it concentration of H plus, or I can write it as this. So this is the same. Write it for you on your page. We can write concentration of HCl as C H plus, or between two brackets H plus. For each, everything, for HCl, for calcium chloride, for whatever. We use these three ways, okay? Did you understand? So here the concentration of H plus equal the concentration of HCl because we have the same ratio. It's one to one. Nothing will change according to stoichiometry. Is it okay till now? This, this will be our last exercise. And next time we will see if Yusuf was ready. Okay, Yusuf, you can get uh, because- uh, Yeah, I'm here. Yusuf, because uh, I am not sure, you are the only Christian here in this class. So you do you only one who is really busy these days? Okay, so you have to write uh, to uh, to to not to do your uh, uh, PowerPoint, and so I will give you time till next uh, week. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Miss. I'll also tell uh, Ali and Sam. Yeah, because I it's it's not fair because you have two days to spend with your family different from us. We don't do that, so you don't have time. When, yeah, for example, you. we have eight fitter or something like this, we all all also get our own time. We will understand that for our students, so we have to understand the same for you. 
Thank you, Miss. I appreciate this. Yeah, but it was just I mix up. Do you know? I know, for example, Ahmad is Muslim from his name. Do you know? I'm some yeah. of the names Abbas is from his name. Okay. But Yusuf, I told you, we saw we we call it's uh, we have Yusuf in Lebanon, uh, the Muslim, uh, but uh, for the, my, in my culture is there, so it's just the name trick me only. Okay, but you are. We are the same. I am living in uh, in Lebanon, so we are all friends, Muslim, Christians. We have many. Lebanon is one of the famous countries that have different uh, uh, religious, and they are living in uh, peace. Alhamdulillah, a little bit. Okay. Who is moving it, Abbas or me? Okay. That's good idea, Abbas. Thank you. You took it up. Or maybe I'm I. Okay, now we have the last part. See. I need help. Who can? I can help. Mashallah. Yeah. Tell me what to do. He said be at value. Yeah. You need to bring the scale? No, by calculation. Yeah. yeah? So what you are going to do? BH equal? Uh, minus log and then bracket H plus bracket. Okay. Can you, uh, you cannot, do you have a camera? Uh, do you have another phone, uh, phone at your home? So can you record for us how to find the, uh, the BH by uh, using calculator? Um, no. okay. If you find a way and you can record it for us and send it to do that group, we will be happy from this. Yeah, I hope. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so do you see, guys, please? I have the concentration of HCL and I have the concentration of H plus. For sure. I don't care about the HCL. I care about the H plus, the value of H plus. Even if he didn't ask me to find this, I have, I have to find it. I mean, the value of HCL, even if it's the same, I have to find it. I have to say, I need the concentration of H plus only. So minus log. 0.2. 0 0.2, very good. Equal, this is by the calculator. So mm -hmm. she have to put minus log, the value, and the press on it. Okay? I got a 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Is it acid or base? If the BH is 0 0.7, is it acid or base? Acid? It's... Yeah, yeah it's, it should be uh, sometimes, but it's, we can from zero to seven. Okay, it's very acid, it's acidic. Yeah, yeah but because uh, the calculation, I did it, so it's uh, a mistake. Will be in this. We don't have this much acidic. And sulfuric acid and acetic acid are very acidic. Okay, so any one of you understand the lesson? Ahmad, hello. Yeah, I'm just writing the notes. So did you understand? Uh, yeah, I understand a little bit. About what we explained, about what, our, who can summarize for us our lesson? Far away from the presentation, what was our lesson today? We found the pH by calculation. And we talked about the theorists of acid and bases. And also, there is another part, Abbas. Abbas, he's doing his salah. We forget to give him time. So I have a question. Yeah. So the when I put like the log in the brackets, it doesn't work for me. For the calculation. Have to write, no, you have to write the uh, value first. Safa, what you are writing first? I don't have the calculator to try. I have a scientific calculator, so it matters what calculator you use. I'm using my phone calculator. 
Yeah, that won't work. No lock. There is no lock. Is there lock there? There is lock in the um, subscript 10. Oh. Uh, I got a lock. different answer. Can you explain for him the steps that you are doing, Safa? Yeah, I'll show you on my calculator, on my like actual calculator. Can you open the camera and just put it in the screen on the camera directly? Um, I'll post it in the group chat. Okay, that's good. I will search okay. about a YouTube and even if... Okay. Uh, so we explained uh, types of solution as acid and base. Uh, we said how to test this acid and the base, how to identify if we have solutions, how to know if this acidic or this basic by different four methods, which is the BH scale, the BH meter, and the solutions for norfotelin and methyl orange, and the last one, which is the litmus papers. Also, we explain how each scientist identify or define uh, the acid and bases, Arrhenius and uh, Bronosted uh, lorry, and the third one, which is Lewis. Uh, Lewis, I forgot to explain it today, to review. Already I explained the last time. And then, and I said how to find the BH by using calculation. Okay, that was our lesson. Uh, Ahmed uh, is, oh, mashallah, he, who left? Safa? So, okay, okay. Ahmed, uh, it's not easy to understand because I am a new teacher for you. Yeah. Uh,